Section 2.3, Homework Problem Number 4. Using a math drawing, explain why dividing both the numerator and denominator of any fraction by 2 produces the same number, which means the equivalent fraction. Um, discuss how to see division by 2. So first of all, we have to have math drawing and, and to use the math drawing to explain why dividing so notice this is actually a very similar to the first two problems we did and the first problem we did was multiplying a number multiply by three or multiply by five but in this case it's not multiplying by a number it's dividing so for example um, in your case you're dividing six and eight both by two by two you're going to get say three over four and three over four is still going to be equivalent to six over eight you need to explain it that i mean in algebra class that's what all, all we have to do we don't need to explain why six over eight is equivalent to three over four but that's what we need to do in this class okay so uh, that's the first part we need to explain after you divide both numbers by four instead of multiplying we already talked about in the first one if you multiply by a number you still end up with the same fraction or equivalent fraction but dividing by the same number also will give you the equivalent fraction okay so discuss how to see division by two um, in terms of your math drawing so we know when we multiply by a number in the drawing we divide each part big part into this many smaller parts but how does dividing a number change the drawing and also we need to um, attend carefully to points that might be difficult for students. Okay, so let's see, um, we're gonna use the 18 over 24 um, as an example. So notice that 18 over 24, this is uh, kind of tiny. So what we did here is 18 over 24. In algebra class, we need to reduce this, or we'll simplify this. And notice 18 and 24, they both have contain a factor of six. So we're going to divide both top and the bottom by 6. Or in the other words, uh, 6 can go into both 18 and 24. So we end up with 18 divided by 6, 3, 24 divided by 6, and 4. Okay, so we're saying um, the simplified version, 3 fourths is equivalent to 18 24. So again, we can use paper strips to show students these two shares. Or fractions are literally identical okay so first of all we have the drawing here and notice that um, so first this time the fraction given is 18 over 24 so we have to start with this and yours is going to be much easier because this example has uh, the denominator is 24 so we're going to have to divide the whole uh, the whole the cake into 24 equal parts and then our share is 18 sliced parts. So we're going to shade eight or 18 of them. Okay. And, you know, the rest of it may be, uh, be given to somebody else. So what now let's look at the division. So first you demonstrate the fraction 1824 on the paper strip. Now dividing by six, what does this do? So originally you have, let's say you have 18 slices. When you divide by six, it's kind of like you put every six slices in a, maybe a gift box so you can give it to a friend so now how many friends can you give so of course 18 divided 6 is 3 so what we're seeing here every 18 um, uh, for these 18 slices you receive your share you're gonna put every six slices one two uh, maybe i will just label them so i'm gonna put one two three four five six in the package in the gift box and then one two three four five six in the gift box one two three four five six in the gift box and the the person maybe this is your brother's share and you have and he will do the same thing one two three four five six in the box so now you don't see 18 slices anymore you will just see these four gift boxes on the table so three of the boxes are yours you're going to give to your friend and and your and this one gift box is for your brother's friend so notice that and if you look at the total number of parts here it's going to be four parts because again 24 put a six in a group how many groups uh, well how many put a six in a gift bag how many gift bags are there 
uh, gift sorry gift boxes so you have four gift boxes which is what you're seeing here one two three four and your share you had 18 slices and you put six in a group and now you have three gift um, put six in a gift box you have three gift boxes so no so this picture this drawing and uh, tells us when we divide both numerator and denominator by six it's like combining every six smaller parts into a big part so compared to what we learned did in the previous examples when we multiplying when you multiplying you actually divide subdivide or cut the big part into this many smaller parts but divide uh, division you actually combining the smaller parts to get bigger parts okay so if you look at my example here you can say combining or you can say join so you join together smaller pieces to make larger pieces now you don't have to use a rod if you don't uh, you can use always use cake as an example so in my particular example i'm joining six smaller pieces to make a larger piece where you can imagine you are putting the six pieces in a, a, a gift a, a box okay because both 18 and 24 can be divided by and six which is the um which means they're both multiples of six so so 18 pieces and 20 pieces could be both put into groups of six um and um when we group 18 of them into groups of six we have three uh, three bo gift boxes with three groups and similarly the the total number of slices 24 can be um, grouped into four uh, gift boxes okay so this explains what we just did here and next to the, n attend carefully to the points that might be difficult for students so division is typically thought so whenever we think of division we get a smaller numbers okay for example when we divide let's say 100 by uh, by uh, by two we got a number smaller which is 50 smaller than 100 right so we are getting smaller um, numbers um but here but the here looks like when we divide by six you're actually joining smaller parts into bigger ones so it looks like you got bigger parts okay so uh some students might be confused how could division get um bigger parts okay actually there they're thinking something wrong here so yes the size of each part is bigger but the number of sizes did get smaller so originally we had 24 but now we only have four so when we do division 24 divide by i'm sorry uh yeah divide by six we got we did get a small number it's the number of parts how many slices uh, be, uh, becomes um smaller it's not that we're not talking about a size okay the size did get bigger from the small become that big okay so uh, the confusion part you want may wanted to explain to students um uh, why when you look at the when you do division you supposed to get smaller numbers that is demonstrated in the drawing because um originally we had 24 that's a bigger number after you do division you get only get a one two three four four parts so the number the number of parts did get smaller so we're not talking about the size of each part okay so when you have the number of parts are smaller uh n number of parts is smaller than size yes uh, does get bigger okay all right so that's um your your explanation here so the pieces are getting smaller but that's not what we're talking about for those numbers three and four so these two numbers don't represent the size they represent the number of pieces okay or well, number of slices number of parts number of the slices okay which do get smaller see 24 becomes three a four 18 becomes three okay so that's um how we explain that